So this is an uh, underwater footage. Most Japanese quality jig keep 45 degrees angle frame falling. This is the most important point. Because I says uh, squid grab your jig when only fair falling. So falling time is a uh, bite time. So this balance is the best for squid. So now uh, this guy make hopping action. Just double hop. So squid jig make hopping action then falling. So this time squid grab your jig. Jerking is a just a beep. Squid and falling time is a bite time. So in this session you have to check your line. <coughs> but some people go to fishing in night time. So in night time you can't see any line. I see. In this session you need tension for tension for. In this session, so this egg rot is very effective because it have a sensitive tip. And also you need count. Just cast and sink to bottom. Make count one, two, three. So you can uh, you can get information from how deep or something. Actually, so, each jig on the package will say how fast it sinks. So normally size three, three point five sink about three seconds per yep. meter. Yep. So that's why you count down depending on what water depth you're fishing. You don't lose so many jigs on the, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the bottom. These are very important. <laughs> We are happy if you lose a lot of tea. <laughs> we can sell more. <laughs> okay. And yeah, this is a like uh, information from Ryan. It's a fan for it. Have a little bit tension, like this. Then strike to your jig. So suddenly run or suddenly stop. Make more slow. It's a like bite sign. Also, if touch the bottom, so make more slack. So, if you have any change of line, so maybe make hooky. 